My name is Jeremy Bird. I am Director of Hospitality at Firestone and Robertson Distilling Company here in Fort Worth, Texas. I was an Opus student member from 1996 to 2001. Howdy! I'm Lee Maupin and I'm a business process analyst here at Seneca Resources in Houston. I was an OPUS from 2005 to 2010 and I was the student committee chair for season 36. Howdy, my name is Bradley D'Souza and I am a graduate student at the University of North Texas Health Science Center and I was on the MSC OPUS student committee from the years 2013 to 2017. Hi, so I'm Delaney Corey and I'm from Tulsa, Oklahoma and I'm an Aggie class of 2019. And Opusite is a member of the student committee who you can find anywhere all over Rudder Auditorium, around the community actually, handing out programs, driving artists to and from the theater, picking them up from the airport, handing out programs, tearing your tickets. They're involved in all aspects behind the curtain and in front of the curtain. Uh, you'll generally see them in all black and uh, they're there to serve you. So I think my favorite part about being on the Opus Student Committee is having a family here in Aggieland. So I'm an out-of-state kid and so it took me a while to adjust and prepare to college life and really having staff and having my fellow managers and just fellow Opus sites is wonderful. What I enjoyed about being on the Student Committee was just being a part of a team. I initially joined the committee to, to see the performances and over the course of four years Yes, I still love the performances, but I started loving my Opus family even more. It became a, a home base at Texas A&M for me, where between classes or after classes ended, all of the people in the community we'd go hang out at the SPO. Being a part of Opus and a student at Texas A&M, I would say it um, broadened my horizons. It opened up doors, um, allowed me to really see a part of the university that I don't think I would have seen had I just been a student not as involved. Um, I got to meet a lot of wonderful people, a lot of great friends, uh, and again, took me on a career path right after graduation that was pretty incredible. So I think that without Opus and without that experience and those connections, those doors wouldn't have opened for me afterwards. So I'm an education major, and so a lot of my job is classroom management. So managing this kid and what are they doing over there? Well, in Opus, it's a lot of the same thing. When you're working with people, working with patrons, being polite, being professional, dressing nicely, all of those things I just didn't know how to do coming out of high school. And so being a part of Opus has really given me that professional development to learn to shake someone's hand and make eye contact. And being an Ops manager especially has given me practice managing a zone and finding out where people work best. And that's really good professionally and then also like specific to my major of being able to manage people and talk to people and just make them feel important because all kids need a supporter. So. I think one of the special things that, uh, that happens, some of the magic in Opus, is the partnership that they have between the students, the university, and the community as well. Uh, Post-graduating, um, looking back on my time serving on a board that was comprised of staff, students, and community leaders was something really special that I was able to look back on and use that experience in my professional life. Uh, that was an unparalleled experience that I don't think a lot of students get from their time in university. Thank you, Opus, for everything that you have given me. My experiences are invaluable that I learned when I was at Opus. You gave me a, a family. I have lifelong friends that I talk to every day. My career, where I am in life, is all thanks to the experiences that I had when I was in the committee, and I can't thank you enough for what you've given me. I just really want to say thank you to Opus for giving me a family and showing me how to love and to be loved by this community, enlightening, entertaining, and inspiring the people of Brazos Valley and myself personally. On behalf of all the former Opus sites, I would like to just thank all the donors who contribute not only to the very obvious world-class arts and music that grace the stage of Rudder, um, but because of your involvement and donations and sponsorship, uh, the students benefit greatly from that and I'm an example of that and can't say thank you enough for the opportunities that I was given because of the community support behind Opus, so thank you.